Hello everyone and hello again YouTube. This is Mia with EOS Marketplace News and I'm here to give you another article featured on today's newsletter at preferredcurrency.news. But before we start, just a quick reminder that we are not financial advisors and we highly recommend that you do your own research regarding the information we provide for you to make decisions for yourself. Now, this channel, EOS Marketplace News, and the website, PreferredCurrency.News, is simply a gathering of the rumors and research available online each day. Alright, so let's go to the third article for today's newsletter, which is about Japanese regulator to host regular global cryptocurrency roundtable. Now, Japan's top financial regulator, the Financial Agen uh, Services Agency, has exclusively shared with news bit.bitcoin.com the details of the first ever roundtable on cryptocurrency oversight. Regulators from over 15 countries participated in the event to share information and discuss cryptocurrency regulatory issues. Crypto Roundtable for Global Regulators The Japanese Financial Services Agency, or JFSA, recently hosted its first ever International Cryptocurrency Roundtable. The event was entitled Roundtable and Supervisory Oversight of Crypto Assets, Recent Developments and Challenges Going Forward. The agency described, quoting, the roundtable brought together relevant financial supervisors and international organizations, providing a useful opportunity to share experiences and discuss issues of crypto assets, which could contribute to strengthen international cooperation, end quote. The GA, they, uh, the JFSA told news.bitcoin.com on Thursday, quoting, In the future, we want to hold this roundtable on a regular basis. JFSA considers it important to share information with respective regulatory authorities and to build on supervisory cooperation in order to prevent money laundering because of the borderlessness of crypto assets. According to the agency, participants have expressed their willingness to participate in similar roundtables in the future. Furthermore, the agency clarified, the purpose of this roundtable is not to reach agreements on any new laws and regulations, but to share information on challenges faced by respective regulators authorities and regulatory frameworks as well as to be cooperate and work internationally sharing information with over 15 countries four main issues were discussed by roundtable participants the JF SA detailed first recent crypto related technological developments and challenges were discussed secondly the regulate, regulators shared their thoughts on the supervision of cryptocurrency trading platforms. The third topic of discussion was about possible areas of international cooperation, followed by the final topic of investor protection and market integrity. Without identifying specific countries that participated in the first roundtable, the JFSA confirmed to news.bitcoin.com more than 15 countries, financial supervisors, and international organizations have participated. Recently, the Securities and Exchange Board of India, or SEBI, wrote in its annual report that it sent officers to Japan and a few other countries to discuss cryptocurrency and initial coin offering regulations. South Korea also previously said that it had been cooperating with the Japanese regulator on crypto-related matters. Regular study group meetings. The Japanese regulator is also hosting regular study group meetings to discuss various crypto regulatory, regulatory issues. 
particularly those concerning the regulation of cryptocurrency exchanges. The seventh study group meeting took place on Friday, October 19. Among the main topics of discussion was derivatives trading with cryptocurrencies as the underlying assets. According to the Japan Virtual Currency Exchange Association or JVCEA, a self-regulatory organization, margin trading accounted for about 80% of all total cryptocurrency transactions in Japan last year. It was also noted that the meeting at the meeting that some crypto ex exchanges offer 25 times leverage which could lead to significant losses for investors. The association has proposed a self-regulatory -re measure of limiting the leverage to four times. The association, whose members com comprise all 16 regulated cryptocurrency exchanges in Japan, is currently waiting for certification from the JFSA to be able to enforce self-regulatory rules on its members. Also discussed at the meeting was the issue of whether there should be a deadline for deemed dealers. The exchanges that have been allowed to operate while their applications are still being reviewed by the JFSA. For example, if they are not able to meet the re registration requirements after three years, they may lose their deemed dealer status, according to one suggestion at the meeting. Currently, there are three deemed dealers in Japan, Coincheck, Lastroots, and Everybody's Bitcoin. Alright guys, so that was the third featured article in today's newsletter at preferredcurrency.news. Now the information um, was provided for your own um, news review and educational re entertainment regarding blockchain. And if you want a copy of um, our daily issue of the newsletter in your email, you can register by going to the website at preferredcurrency.news and scroll down and click the link PayPal where you can pay 15 dollars per month on a recurring basis or you can pay at coinbase for only 180 dollars per year uh, with your favorite crypto handled by coinbase and as soon as you do that you start receiving newsletter directly to your email a day ahead that's 12 hours ahead of our broadcast here on youtube all right so guys here is what our newsletter looks like this is what you'll be getting as soon as you subscribe to the newsletter. Now, it will show here um, daily um, news articles and uh, would suggest you some websites here. So, here is one website featured in the article. Now, it is a great website where you can get alerts for transactions on your account. Now, you can go to eosauthority.com slash alerts and you'll be getting alerts like incoming and outgoing transfers, changes or additions to the keys, airdrop sent to the account, actions authorized by the account, or any ECOF arbitration notices. Also, here on the site, you'll uh, learn more about alerts in the FAQs such as how can one test that what alert works, how can one unsubscribe, and of course, if you have um, suggestions or comments regarding the website. Also, um, EOS Authority performs as a blog producer where it deals professionally with technical matters or issues of arbitration and governance. All right. Also here, you can advertise what you have for sale in exchange for EOS and also what you would like to buy by going to the website eosmarketplace.news. So, um, if you have vacation rentals, real estates, boats, or services available in exchange for EOS, you can post them here. Now, don't you worry, the site is very accessible and it does not require any membership fee. 
all you need to do is type in the item you want to sell under the general category on column B, the description of your item on column C, um, any website or link for the description which can show uh, pictures or images of the item on column F, and of course your contact information such as um, phone number and your email address. All right. And also you can uh, place your additional listings here at marketplace.pcn.today. You can also submit your advertisements on this website. Now here on marketplace.pcn.today would show you different types of categories like automotive, electronics, jobs, pets and animals, restaurants and cafe and other services. Also um, the website has an ads location section where um, it has two types of ad listings. One is grid. Here is the grid view and the other one is list view. Now also in this section will be shown some of the latest ads, popular ads, random ads and featured ads. And also uh, marketplace.pcn.today has an ads location section where uh, you can add your desired locations and there is no limit so you can do it as you would like to. Again guys, to place your additional listings, you can go here at marketplace.pcn.today. And now um, you can sign up at pro.coinbase.com to change some US dollars into Bitcoin so that you can then transfer that Bitcoin to the Binance exchange where you can change your Bitcoin into EOS if you wish. All right. So here, this is what pro.coinbase.com looks like. Now you can sign up or log in if you're already a member though. Now Coinbase Pro offers individuals the ability to trade a variety of digital assets on a secure insurance backed platform. So here. It is also the best place to trade digital currency. And Coinbase uh, Pro offers an in intuitive interface with real-time order books, charting tools, trade history, and a simple order process so you can trade even starting from day one. So here. Again, guys, to uh, change your dollars, US dollars into Bitcoin, you can go here at pro.coinbase.com. There. Also, um, you can download the free EOS Links wallet from your Google Play Store or your favorite App Store so that you can use EOS most easily. You can also go to the website eoslinks.com where you can download the first EOS wallet of, um, for your Windows right here. And also, um, you can most easily get an EOS account for only 99 cents in your Google Play Store or in your App Store simply by choosing the application called EOS Links. Okay. And now guys, um, the publisher of preferredcurrency.news would like to connect with you personally. Now you can contact Donald the Guru through his phone number at 1-801-601-8105 or on his WhatsApp at 9 or 1 801 471 6939. Also on Telegram at preferredcurrency.news. And you can follow him on Twitter at preferredcrypto. All right. Also, here on each issue of the newsletter, we'll show you Donald's new research list for the day. So, this is Donald's research list for the day. Here it would consist of tokens or coins here on column A. Now the dates when appeared on Donald's list. This is for today, October 23rd, and this is the original price of each token. Now by tomorrow, Donald will be updating the sheet so that you can see if there are any changes on the prices of each token. Also in, on column E is the seven days later price here. 
On column F is the 30 day sales price. Column G is the 24 hours percent up or down. Now take note that the red ones have not so good news regarding each token and the green ones have good news there. So here. Here is also another spreadsheet that is available that is available for free as soon as you subscribe to um, each uh, to our issue of the newsletter. Now this is Donald's analysis for tomorrow, October 24, on tokens. Now take note here in column A are the names of the tokens that if they have red or if they are colored red, it has it means that it has negative news. Um, orange or tan are neutral, yellow are fair, um, green have good news, and the blue ones shows the best news. Now, again guys, you can receive this spreadsheet or analysis daily for free as soon as you um, subscribe to the newsletter at preferredcurrency.news. Okay, now here continuing, on column B is the US dollar resin price here. On column C is the share of total market volume. On column D is the Google searches compared to past 7 days. On column E, uh, 50 candle SMA movement. Column F, number of positive technical indicators. Column G is the 24 hours current volume versus price. Column H, 7 days monthly or weekly volume versus price on column i is a 30 days monthly um, volume versus price and column j is a percent issued now take note that this sheet is not a recommendation for one to buy or sell crypto but if you decide that you would like some always consider offering about 20 percent uh, below the current market price whenever you place buy limit orders and also you can make a copy of this one by simply clicking file and make a copy so that you can have your own version where you can modify as you wish for your own purposes and research you can also add columns or add your personal notes and information to your own file copy here so this is my copy of preferred currency dot news for tomorrow here also guys on each issue of the newsletter we'll show you tokens or a list of tokens that has high volume change um, interesting technical price action high weekly trade volume and high google search activity okay also you can become an affiliate and earn your crypto each month. You can invest your time in our affiliate program and earn affiliate commissions for seven levels deep. But uh, do not post your affiliate link in, uh, link in public forums or comments, but do it as personal messages only after you chat with a friend or owner of another channel or account. All right. So you can register here by going to the website preferredcurrency.news and click the affiliate tab on the upper right corner of the site sign up do your first blog as an affiliate and earn your crypto all right so okay so i think that's it guys that was for the third article featured uh today on uh on today's dispatcher at preferredcurrency.news and don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel for more updates and more videos. Uh, this is again Mia, your daily broadcaster, signing off and I'll see you next time.